Double so you just need like a top 100 and two months seven good to go for that so I can qualify for playoffs. Okay, so potentially Big Priest. Um, you can think about even keeping Nether like right off the bat if it's Big Priest because this card is one of the big ones. But um, I think I'm going to go for a different line where I just try to draw like Kazakus probably. Kurds win me this matchup. Uh, I think Lothab is one that does a lot of work in this matchup. I feel like turn 5, Proactive plays are just a little bit too slow. Rather Mulligan a little bit harder for cards like Sylv, Mountain Giant, stuff like that. The Void Caller and a Demon. It's like the hands are very mediocre and I just want better stuff. Uh, Reno's just like a 4-6 in this matchup, doesn't do anything. Because like you don't play into Fatigue against Big Priest, you play 2 to Fatigue, but then you don't really like go past that. Uh, 3 keep if you're, if you're Big Priest usually means you have Barnes and 2 Resurrects, so that's uh... Kind of scary. Yikes, guys! Yikes. The lack of shadow visions on turn two is quite scary too. So I feel like um, we're gonna be in for something with horde madness or whatever Barnes says. Oh, meme deck. Okay. Oh, that's interesting at least. So, what end of turn effect do you have on turn four? I actually need some help here because I actually don't know what end of turn effect you have coming off on turn four. What are even all of the end of turn effects in Hearthstone? End of turn effects. This is where Google is your friend because I can just Google this real quick. There's like the 2 2, the 2 2 card in, in Priest that'll buff one of your minions. So many that'll make it a 3 6. So Shadow, Shadow Ascendant, there's Master Swordsmith, there's Young Priestess. There's Cobalt Scale Bane, but we don't have to play right on that. So he's probably trying to play Shadow Ascendant next turn. I think I'm fine calling the Breaker here, though. Because a 3 6 is a lot harder to deal with than a 1 5. It'll still be a 3 6 if he has 2, because if he, if he full keeps, then he probably has 2. I still, actually, if he had Shadow Ascendant, wouldn't he just play 1 on turn 2 if I wasn't developing, and then play that on turn 3? Like, wouldn't that make more sense, anyways? I think that I develop here in bump. I think whatever deck he's playing, I want to be able to play kind of aggressively against because he kept this in his hand and then two other cards. And I think that it's really important for me to kind of just like play proactively against a, a deck that I have no clue what it's doing. He might have a broken combo that I don't see or understand or have seen before. So I want to play around it. I feel it's kind of important at least. Barnes yes rush, but you wouldn't you wouldn't run Dracarian Channer in a deck with Barnes. Because you could pull Dracarian Channer from Barnes and then that would be bad. Then your Barnes wouldn't do anything. I don't think I like Belcher. Uh these are really defensive cards, and you actually might be right now build the big priest. So I think I'm gonna hit tap and play Mom. Or just just see what's up after I life tap. I uh, don't like the dirty rat. I think I'm just gonna play Mom. Could I actually uh, also argue that passing's better here than doing that. I, I actually kind of like doing that because saving saving mom lets me get mom god free off, so I think that's actually better. I okay, I'm kind of confused now, but I mean that's okay. Um, so I have ten cards. I have to do something. Probably it's gonna be this and pass. Pretty good. Double enchanter is interesting. So this may be like a form of big priest that doesn't run barns. Uh, if I hellfire and trade, then he goes for resurrect, then he gets a bunch of those, so that's kind of scary. One, this is a four, there's no two. And that's still a four. So that doesn't work with the mom hellfire stuff. Could hellfire defile, it's not very good though. So many dirty rats pretty sketchy like it doesn't it doesn't feel like dirty rats that strong of a play but I think I'm gonna do it maybe not actually it's kind of weird because like it doesn't really buy me anything but I need to do something it gives me information on what he's playing and I still have another for next turn but it's just kind of like not very good that's fine so I don't think clearing the user matters because he just rushes it anyways uh, if we're thinking about another then it's good but I don't think it's really that big of a deal right now whether I cleared or not. Because I'm probably just playing this next turn anyways. 
but it's pass. It's not another, and I feel like that card's gonna be better than another. Ah, uh, sorry, it's gonna be worse than another. Dirty Red against Big Priest? Well, the thing is, like, you don't assume it's Big Priest because he's playing Dracarian Channer. And if it is Big Priest, then I get information on what he's playing, and then I can just twist another way to beat kids next turn. Uh, that's fine. Dream's not a big deal. I, I don't think like he should have dreamed the 1 2 slide back to my hand because Dirty Rod's legitimately not a bad card for me. It, it has like a lot of synergy with. Um... Okay. So is this just like actually like a Ysera, Dakari, and Chandler Barnes deck or what? Because his resurrects are bad now. He has this in the pool as well. It's kind of just whatever. Uh, but yeah, I just do this now. I think at least I could like defile all Hellfire instead. Big dirty ride, Hellfire defile. I ain't fucking. Oh, this is true. Mm, I should actually do this first, right? You know, it's, it triggers three times anyway, so it's not relevant what order what order I do it in. So I guess we can do this way for fun. No, that, that I, no, that was right. It didn't trigger three times. That's my bad. There's nothing with two. That's why I was thinking about doing that way. And why I didn't do it the other way around. Because if there was a two, then it would trigger three times and I wouldn't get the dirty rep back. But this way doesn't matter. Really. I guess Enchanter makes sense bad too. Again, turning that, so he just pushes damage. I have Reno though, so it's not really a big deal. Um, Gul'dan's quite good. If I do this, I'd probably get Dreamed again. It's very likely that he has it. So I'm gonna tap. I think that I do play Mom, and then I think I do play Reno. It seems weird to say that now I play Mom, now that I have Godfrey, but I think that he has to commit Resurrects now. So, and, and I think it's only- I don't think it- no, it's only a 1 out of 3 for it to hit Mom. So I think it's fine to play this, because then I just save mana. Okay, so that's 16. That doesn't stack, right? Like, if you res this Dracari, it doesn't make it happen again. Do I miss Pirate Warrior? Uh, Pirate Warrior is very good right now. It's actually not bad. It's a viable deck. I've been playing it quite a bit recently, actually. I, I just don't really like the inclusion in Dracari. I think it's a cool card in the deck, but I don't think that it really adds anything. Well, that's kind of a problem, because you, you want your cards to be good when you play them, and I just don't think Dracari is that good. It's also funny, I'm complaining about a, a Big Priest playing cards that I think are bad in Big Priest, when usually all I do is complain about Big Priest, but I think the cards that he's using are just kind of weird. Uh, I have a clear with Godfrey, so I think I'm going to dirty right Godfrey here. One. Yeah, I have to do this. That's fine. Again, his rest pool is quite diluted, so it should be fine. But I, I really don't want another before I see spell set as a thing. But I like having Doomsayer. Uh, it's really, really good. One of the reasons why I held it is because Nether Doom is like a broken combo in this deck, really. Uh, I legitimately mean broken, because like you just buy yourself a turn. Um, That's quite good for him. I'm already done at 13 again, shit. I might just do it here so I can play uh, Melganus, actually. It's not very good, but it does something. He could also just silence and res more, but it's not guaranteed that he gets rag. Like, he has, what, five minions in his res pool? So it's actually not very likely at all. Okay. I do think it's important to play this before I play Gold'an as well. Why are not all the cards golden? Uh, because I am poor. <laughs> I have Golden Patron Warrior and Golden Pirate Warrior. I like Green a lock a lot, but not enough to craft full golden because it's quite expensive. It's okay, no big deal. Again, he's just like passing his turn, so I'm okay with that. Ooh, okay, this is big. Silv Shadow Flame's insane. Really, really good in this matchup for me. Really, really good. Uh so I get I get a void call actually off of Mizoth too. I think I just play gold down though. I don't really think that I need to be drawing cards for my deck now. I, I think that I actually only get Wake Holly there from this, so it's not very good. But um, it's a hero power that's good, heal for 5 and stuff like that. Gives me another card from Nazoth. Stuff like that. I thought about including the Black Knight. Yes, I have. 
I tried playing that in uh, uh, in a deck no meme a couple days ago. I don't remember. I think I tried playing in Zulok, the Black Knight. No joke. Like I actually did. This thing from below is so big. Obsidian statue and all that kind of jazz are really uh, popular as well. I think that I just steal that. Mine now. Thank you. I will. I will take the Yasura. I get get a dream. Give me a dream. Control as a dream. Ah, uh, not the sister, man. Come on. Sister's the worst one you can get, dude. Uh, all the other ones are significantly better, I'd say. Even the Drake is good because it's like a seven six. Warriors of the frozen wastes, Maybe Dracarian Channer really is next level, and I'm just uh, behind the times as far as this goes. I don't think it's really the best Zola, to be honest. It's a 9-drop, it's hard to play. I think I'd rather just play this. The problem is that makes like, second scream much better for him. Uh, because he just can send the card in a sec. Sarah Awakens is really good, because now I can hero power and you play Awakens and clear uh, Rag or Lich King. Which is really strong. Do I remember Alarmabot? Yes, I do. I definitely remember Alarmabot. Take 13 to clear that if I want. I really don't want to though, so I think I'm just gonna play Nazoth now. Nazoth's okay. It's not great. It's just something. The card's nice because they get a heal for four with Mom. I get Sylvanas, and it makes um, the Ragnaros less likely to deal damage to my face. And he's played double screen now, so we're really good. Uh, we're, we're really happy about that. Sorry, not really good. We're okay at Hearthstone. We're not really good at Hearthstone. Light Bob is really good for him. Again, I don't really care. It's just like, it's the fact that he's giving me time to do stuff instead of like killing me is really important. That's what the important part here is for me. And he also doesn't clear this, so I get a Zola, which trust me is pretty fucking broken. It's better than Zola and Zakis. I need to do this now. Um, I'm gonna load them actually over Zakis and go face. So I probably win unless he has exactly a Sarah Awakens here. If he does, then he gets a clear and I have to play Nazoth, but even if I play Nazoth, then I get another Sylvanas in most cases, and we're just in a good spot. So I think we're okay here. Um, yeah, the Lothab's is pretty broken in this matchup, that's basically it. Usually I would Zola the Lothab, but the Nazoth just makes more sense, because if he does have the clear now, I have refill, basically. Go for 9, so 18 on board, I have 7 damage of reach. 23, some 1 off, right? 4 plus 3 is 1 off. Yeah. So I can Kazakus for a 1 mana potion and get 3 damage in one. I don't need 10 mana here, I don't think. Or flip side, you could argue that I do and I'm just being a little bit too greedy by doing this, but I think I have another Nizoth, so I don't really care. I'll take the rest of the game. I play Doomsday, so that's bad. Gain armor. Uh, card draw's good? Let's take card draw. What am I looking for from my deck? Dark Bomb is lethal? Sure. Oh, uh, I have eight. I thought this was four for some reason. I went through all that just to win the game. That's kind of funny. For some reason, I, I counted it as seven, right? Because I thought Yasser Awakens was four for some reason in my head. So what, I get Legend now. I get Legend and I can't count. <laughs> Welcome to Legend Control number 50. Uh, so 49 spots to go guys, and I think in order to climb 49 ranks in Legend, I'm gonna have to figure out how to do math. 